Dr. Montessori was the first female physician in Italy. And if you can imagine, that was back in the early 1900s. It was not really a great thing for a woman to be a physician because they'd have to see naked bodies. That was not okay. So she was a real renegade to be able to get through the system and have that happen. Because she was a, a woman and a physician, they kind of assigned her to this home for what they then called defective children. They just wanted her to take care of these kids and kind of stay out of the way. And while she was there, she did all her physician duties, and then she had a lot of other time. And so she started to study these children and what they needed. And as she studied, she began to introduce different materials to them and see what worked and what they naturally were drawn to. After some years of working with these children and introducing techniques and manipulatives for them, these children who were written off by society and called defective, they took the state exams and they did better than the children in the traditional schools. So people started to take notice. And the reward that she got was a slum in San Lorenzo. There was a place where all the parents, this is the early 1900s, so it was the industrial age, families um, would all be working and children would be left at home alone. Sometimes there would be a, a grandparent there, but often there was no one and it was just the children. And so the children were kind of vandalizing and causing all this trouble. So the owners of these tenements, they wanted to get these children out of their hair. And so they graciously gave Dr. Montessori a room in the tenement so that she could open a school there with these children. And she did. And there was a miracle that happened in that slum. The children opened up to what was happening there. They began to care for themselves. They began to care for their environment. Instead of vandalizing it, they were beautifying it. They started to develop concentration and powers of attention. And as their families witnessed these changes in them, the families started to change because they started to respect their surroundings more and appreciate their surroundings more. It was, it was tremendous benefit, this little gift of a room in a slum.